The Kenya under-18 trials for the World Championships had a very strict age verification process. Young runners lined up in a single line awaiting vetting of their edges. Officials inspected each document presented and only those with valid birth certificates meeting the IWF entry standards were allowed into the trials. It was a tedious process, but officials say it was the only way out. If we were found cheating in, uh, in uh, cheating, we, we, it is like we have a, a doping case that we are going to be answering. So we are telling the coaches to make sure that they bring the right engines for the events which are on the car. Athletes born between the year 2000 and 2001 were allowed to compete. Others, like these two girls, were declared underage. If you find that they are competing with a 22-year-old, you are demoralizing those kids. So that is why, at the end of the day, what I would like to see is a strictness when it comes to age, so that those kids who are young have an opportunity to be able to compete with their age mates. Kenya says more than birth certificates will be needed as proof of age before the World Championships. Even after we select the team, we don't stop um, checking on their age. Uh, checking on their uh, past um, um, re records and so on. So we go back, we go back to the school. The school administrators have been urged to raise the bar of integrity to guard against age cheating. This is purely raw talent, which we find very well. It is the basket supply of uh, the senior category. So in terms of transition, we are very well assured of uh, a very rich transition to the senior category. The host will be hoping that no aid cheating crisis arise before, during, and after this international event. Kenya will host the last ever edition of the IWF World Under-18 Championships here in Nairobi in July. And as the competition nears, the country has vowed that only the athletes meeting the age group criteria will run in this event. Sadiq Shaban, CGTN, Nairobi, Kenya.